In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus CuSO4. This is barium hydroxide plus copper 2 sulfate. So the first thing we do with net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. It looks like, in this case, the equation's already balanced, so we don't need to do anything there. Next, we can write the state for each substance. Barium hydroxide is considered a strong base, so it's going to be aqueous. It's going to dissolve, dissociate into its ions. For copper 2 sulfate, in general, sulfates, they're soluble, so this is going to be aqueous. There are a few exceptions, though. Barium sulfate is one of those exceptions. It's insoluble, so it won't dissolve. That means it's going to be a solid. We'll have these two substances react. They'll produce this solid, which is a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate. And then copper 2 hydroxide, this is largely insoluble as well. So when we have hydroxides, with a few exceptions like sodium and potassium hydroxide, this will be insoluble as well. So that's going to be a solid too. You'll often see this written as slightly soluble, which is the same thing as insoluble net ionic equation. So this will precipitate out as well. So this is kind of interesting. We have two solids. This is a double precipitation reaction. Next, we need to split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. So for barium, barium's in group two, that'll be two plus, and the hydroxide here, one minus. So we have Ba, two plus, I'll write the states later, Plus, we have these two hydroxide ions, so 2OH minus. And then copper, we don't know the charge on that, but the sulfate, that's always 2 minus. Copper needs to be 2 plus. So we'll have Cu2 plus, the copper 2 ion, plus we'll have this sulfate ion here, SO4, 2 minus. These are the reactants in our net ionic equation. For the products, we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations, so we'll just have our BASO4, that'll stay together, and we'll have our copper 2 hydroxide, that'll also stay together. So this is the complete ionic equation. We could now cross out spectator ions, except there aren't any, so everything is unique on both sides. That makes this the net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus CuSO4. So the complete ionic equation is the same as the net ionic equation here. Let me clean it up and write the states in and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is the balanced net ionic equation for barium hydroxide plus copper 2 sulfate. If we look at the charge, it's balanced. We have 2 plus and then 2 times the 1 minus, so we have 2 minus, then we have 2 plus, 2 minus. These all add up to 0. Everything here is neutral on the product side, so that's 0 too. Charge is balanced. If you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for BaOH2 plus CuSO4. Thanks for watching.